Jeff has been on a tear all week, mad that you're not picking up on him. I do pick up on him and it's it's just him complaining that I don't pick up on him. It's getting old. I, I, there's no new topic. Well, it, that's the worst part, Howard, is when he has a topic. The topic is is usually worse than the complaining. Well, let's find out what he was calling for. Like what day, you know, tell him to pick a day that he had a phone call up and he had something to say. What was it? All right, Jeff, you're on. You know, I can't fucking get through since this whole fucking thing began. What the fuck? It's bullshit. You literally are complaining every day that you can't get on. So now you're on and now you're complaining that you're on. I don't want to be on... I don't want to get on this way. Why did you ever pick up on? Hey, Jeff, how are you? No. How are you, Jeff? No, I have a fucking piece of fucking shit. How are you, high pitch? What's up with Jeff the drunk saying he never gets on the air? Like, so, sometimes I don't get on the air all the time. Right. I don't give you a problem. I mean, he has to have like a bit to get on the air. Hey, Ralph, didn't you get enough air time today? What do you want to say? If I call in, I have an agenda. You know, like I, right. I, I have a comment. I have this or that. Jeff calls up and sits there waiting for you to pick up and go, Jeff, how are you doing? Here, you it's guys like talk punch. to Jeff and explain it. Go oh. ahead, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, first of all, fuck you, Ralph. You always have nothing to say. Fuck you. And fuck well, you, Eric, why don't you make your point about that Jeff calls in and doesn't have something to say? Go ahead. Teach him. Um, Jeff, why don't every everybody time, every time stop helping, asshole? He hung up. Well, now he, after the show, uh, he'll call Marianne if she got on and he bitches at her. Like, how the hell are you getting in and I'm not? <laughs> this, is, this is bullshit. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I've been going through this for we- weeks and weeks and weeks. He has things to say when he's talking to me, and then when he calls you, he fucking just doesn't say anything. And I'm arguing with him, and he's calling me and slamming the phone in my face. I get called back, Jeff, and get your fucking points out. One thing I'll say about Bobo, he calls in, he doesn't complain. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't complain, Howard. You know what it is? I have my notes, my list of questions, whether they're good or not. I have an agenda. All Jeff does is complain, and then he hangs up on the host. That's an embarrassment, and that's a direct ridicule to you. Okay. Well, I'll that's tell you what, Bobo, you make a good point. Ball. I put the guy on, and he you just hung right. up on me. By the way, uh, Bobo and Marianne, uh, they are not back on good terms. Uh, I know that. Still, Marianne can't yeah. stand Bobo. She thinks he's a phony. Oh. Yeah. yeah. When did Cameo that happen? changed him. It's, it's but hard Howard, to keep... I had an agenda today. I wanted to warn people not to wear bandanas. I just found this out. That is going to exasperate the problem. What is it going to do to the problem? It's going to exasperate the problem. Exacerbate. That's what it's designed to do. Exasperate, yes. No. Exacerbate. Why? That's what I said. Exacerbate. What is it? E-X- All right, I got to get out of this. Marianne, what is it? He doesn't speak to Jeff or Eric Bobo. He's He's got to say agenda. A bandana, it doesn't work. He's so annoying, Howard. I can't fucking stand him anymore. All right. Marianne is flabbergasting the problem. 